I'm Kevin Cameron and my subject of the moment is how the camshafts themselves are driven and why this engine has two rather than one. You've probably seen the expressions in written form SOHC which stands for single overhead camshaft and DOHC which stands for double overhead camshaft. There's a good reason to have two separate camshafts, one for the exhaust and one for the intake valves because if you get involved in engine tuning and trying to get more power, why you would want it is always a question, but having two separate camshafts allows you to change the timing of the intake or the exhaust without disturbing the timing of the other camshaft. Hence the desirability of having two separate camshafts. With a single camshaft, it would run down the middle and there would be rocker arms to operate the valves. However, here we have where the tappets for all of the 16 valves would go. And these saddles are the bearings in which each camshaft revolves. They're plane bearings. They are not ball bearings. They are not needle bearings. The thing about plane bearings is they're very durable provided they get plentiful filtered cooled oil. And the condition of this engine as I originally took it apart just stunned me so many beautiful parts. I was sort of chuckling to myself. Now, how do the camshafts get driven? They get driven by a so-called silent chain. This is not a roller chain like the chain that drives a sport bike's rear wheel. This is an inverted tooth silent chain. And if I had both camshafts in the engine, you would see that the chain passes over their sprockets, goes down this slot, loops over a smaller gear at the end of the crankshaft and the plastic dampers that I showed you in an earlier video press against the runs of the chain to prevent them from bow stringing. Remember, this engine is powered by a series of combustion thumps, thumps so the crankshaft does not rotate smoothly like a mill wheel in a beer commercial. Instead, it accelerates when the combustion in one cylinder begins and then it slows as that combustion dies away. 180 degrees later, it feels another combustion event and accelerates again. So that yanking on the cam chain would set the chain to vibrating and many stress cycles of such vibration would soon wreck the chain. So soft plastic shoes press against the runs of the chain and damp out any vibration. Making the cam drive stable is always a question in any new engine design, but by the time it reaches the marketplace, such problems have been solved.